So when that being done, we can go ahead and secure the base of the control module onto the gear housing with the three screws. That's one, I'm just getting it started. Two is here. here. Alright, with all three started, I'm going to go ahead and tighten them up. PCB. So when you're placing the PCB, make sure that the wires coming from the saw motor stator is pushed to the rear of the saw. Not up here. Unless it's too short, then you can route them up front, but normally they're routed towards the back. Secure the PCB with the screw. And again, first wire is going to be black from the saw motor closest to the blade guard. White from the saw motor next to black. The vacuum, like to route, it's going to be white and then black okay then uh, all the other connectors be coming from the control module on top which has the switch and the overlay okay so now the main power let, well let's let's wire these two guys up first i'm gonna go ahead and remove these guys because it's not. Let me get this real quick. Okay, so normally the flag connectors, which are these things that look like little flags, they go to the, the PCB. So in this case, the red and black should go right next to the black, next to the vacuum source. So this, this is the power input to the vacuum. So black, white, white, black. Or, you know what, erase that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the flag connectors should be connected to the PCBs. So in this case, black, white, white and yellow, black and red. And then the white and yellow will then go on to the vacuum side to provide power to the vacuum. Red next to black, and then white first, or yellow first. So you should have yellow, red, black, white. And then you will have the black and white connector and a black and white connector. This is incoming power with the yellow terminals. 
outgoing power from the switch to the PCB here. So when wiring it up, it would be facing this way, the cover would drop down. You have the center terminals. The center terminals is your output. So you have the black wire coming from the overload. So you put the black wire directly above that. Okay. And then the white wire right next to it. There you go. And then the black wire from the power cord will go into the overload. And then the white wire will go right below the white wire on the switch. And there you have it. Okay, so that's basically your wiring. And then once it's wired, put the wires in, place the cover on top. Secure it into place. All right, now we just put the brushes in.